Hey boys and girls, welcome to 6th grade Earth Science. And today's topic that we're going to discuss is the formation of the universe. Um, this is your 6th grade virtual science class. And wow, the origin of the universe, this is pretty massive. Um, the universe encompasses all of space, all of time, all of matter, and all of energy. So it, we're talking everything. The universe contains everything that exists from particles of matter smaller than an atom to the largest stars. The universe also includes all forms of energy from the light you see streaming from stars to the invisible radio waves and x-rays. Even time is part of the universe. Scientists think of time as being when the universe began. All matter and energy in the universe are contained in a volume of space. Remember volume is anything that has matter and takes up space. Um, a volume of space that scientists have discovered is constantly expanding. The expanding universe is similar to a balloon that is constantly inflating from a single, from a single point billions of years ago during an event called Big Bang. So the origin of the universe. There are a few scientific theories coupled with various religion theories, religious theories um, to explain the origin of the universe. The most widely accepted theory among scientists is the Big Bang Theory, and that's what we're going to talk about today. The Big Bang is how astronomers explain the way the universe began. It is the idea that the universe began as just a single point, then expanding and stretched to grow as large as it is right now, and it's still stretching. So what I really like about this image is it kind of shows that initial beginning and then you can see from the graphic how it's like spreading out and getting bigger and wider and, and it's expanding every second of every day. It just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So it all began as um, a tiny hot beginning. When the universe began, it was just hot, tiny particles mixed with light and energy. It was nothing like what we see now, as everything has expanded and it's taken up some more space and it's cooled down. The tiny particles grouped together and they formed atoms. Then those atoms grouped together. Over lots of time, atoms came together to form stars and galaxies. And I included a model of an atom, that black circle in the middle, hopefully you remember that's the nucleus. It contains all the protons and the neutrons. And then the red spheres on the image are the electrons. And the blue represents that electron cloud where those electrons are orbiting around that nucleus. The first stars created bigger atoms and groups of atoms that led to more stars being born. At the same time, galaxies were crashing and grouping together as new stars were being born and dying. Then things like asteroids, comets, planets, and black holes formed. And please remember that these things are still happening. Um, it's continually expanding. So there is still galaxies crashing and grouping together, still stars being born and stars dying, um, and asteroids and comets and planets and black holes being formed. Now, how long did all of this take? Well, we believe that the universe is roughly 13 billion, 800 million years old. That's 13 billion, that's a very long time. Um, and then the last part that just says what's a name, we're talking about the name, the Big Bang. That's pretty much how the universe began. Because it got so big and led to such great things, some people call it the Big Bang. But maybe a better name would be everywhere stretch or whatever you think because it's constantly expanding and stretching um, every second of every day. So that's all for today. Thanks guys.